The NFL Draft wrapped up on Saturday, and it was a day filled with Palmetto State stars getting the call they've always dreamed about getting. The first player taken with South Carolina ties was Coastal Carolina tight end Isaiah Likely. Likely was taken by the Baltimore Ravens with the 139th pick in the fourth round. He's coming off of a career year that saw him gain over 900 receiving yards to go along with 12 touchdowns. Three picks later, South Carolina State star Jacoby Durant heard his name. The Lamar South Carolina native was picked 142nd overall by the Los Angeles Rams. Now last season, Durant led the Bulldogs with three interceptions and was named the 2021 MEAC Defensive Player of the Year. And now he's taking his talents to California to join the Super Bowl champs. Now, it took a little longer than a lot of us anticipated, but several South Carolina Gamecocks also heard their names called in Las Vegas. The first Carolina playmaker drafted was defensive end J.J. Enigbare. The 6'4", 270-pounder is heading to Green Bay after being selected in the fifth round with the 179th pick. J.J. finished up his career in the Garden and Black with 15 sacks, and now he'll look to make a name for himself self in title town. Running back Kevin Harris was up next. The 2020 SEC leading rusher was drafted by the New England Patriots with the fourth pick in the sixth round. Harris had nearly 2,000 rushing yards in his three years at Carolina, culminating in a 182-yard performance in the Gamecocks win in the Dukes Mayo Bowl. Last but not least, Mr. Fun Guy himself, tight end Nick Muse, is taking his talents to the Twin Cities. Muse was selected in the seventh round by the Vikings. He logged 67 receptions and 805 receiving yards in three seasons at Carolina. He'll be joining fellow Gamecock alum DJ Wanham in Minnesota. The Panthers got their quarterback Friday night by selecting former Old Miss Rebel Matt Corral in the third round. And on Saturday, Carolina got a pass rusher who is coming back home to the Carolinas. Virginia Tech edge rusher and former Westwood standout Amari Barno was picked by the Cats in the sixth round. Barno turned heads at the combine by running a 4-3-6 in the 40-yard dash, which was the fastest time registered by a defensive lineman since 2003 folks he becomes another young speedster coming off the edge for the Panthers joining Pro Bowl defensive end Brian Burns some other draft day notables from Saturday former Clemson linebacker Balen Spector was selected by the Buffalo Bills in the seventh round like Marion native and former Gamecock defensive lineman Jabari Ellis was signed as an undrafted free agent by the New York Giants and former Gamecock running back Zaquandre White is taking his talents to South Beach to play for the Miami Dolphins.